Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions. So I wanted to provide you guys with a quick overall update of a stock that I saw performing very, very well today. Uh, this is ticker symbol CROX. A lot of you guys have uh, you know, most likely been paying attention to it. I made a video as uh, Crocs has been selling off. You guys could see that it's been consistently making lower highs and lower lows. I thought this would be a perfect stock to talk about, especially if you're partaking in our swing trading challenge. I really hope that you learned something new in this video. Please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing if you feel like we earned it. Also, I am feeling a lot better. Thank you for all your get well uh, messages over Instagram and Discord. I truly do appreciate it. But, you know, a lot of people that message me, especially beginners, they always ask for like an example. What is an example or what is it that I'm looking for a stock to do? And I'm the same way, right? I, I learn by either seeing others do and or by seeing how other th- other um, either stocks have played out and you know for me to be able to kind of just use that as an overall example i think crocs is a perfect example of what it did when it pulled on back you know uh, early november and then as it began to recover what it is that we are expecting, right? If you're part of Learn, Plan, Profit, we've talked about the three stages of reversal. I love focusing on bullish stocks. I love when they're consistent and I love when they're cheap. You know, Ticker Zimbro KR, which is Kroger, peaked at highs of $46. A lot of people sometimes don't understand why we wait for confirmation. At the end of the day, it's really hard to predict the bottom of a stock, especially when it's still making lower lows and lower highs. So instead of overcomplicating your trading, Keep it simple. You allow it to sell off. The cheaper it gets, the better for you. You're not invested. It sells off. It sells off. It begins to consolidate, establish signs of a support level. That's stage two in this uh, three stages of reversal. We begin to trade above EMA and make these higher highs and higher lows. This is exactly the reversal, the perfect picture, right? Other than drawing a perfect U of the three stages of a reversal. Not only did we wait for it to break above the EMA line, but we began to wait for higher highs and higher lows. And as you can see, right, you're like, okay, well, when was the perfect time to enter? Some people get really caught up in the idea of always trying to buy at the lowest price point. Trust me, I made the same mistake all the time. One thing that you have to understand is most of these good quality companies don't shoot up right away. You know, let's say that you wanted to get in right around, you know, 40 to $41. It shoots up to highs of 43. You feel like you missed it. In one or two days, it's back down to 40, right? It pushes up. You feel like you missed it. 43, 44. The next few days, it pulls on back. The idea is, is that we're not pulling back to the same lows that we were before, that it's at least showing this upward staircase pattern above the EMA line. You could even look at the four hour time frame for, of course, a closer look of these higher lows and of course these higher highs. And it's never a perfect picture. There's always mistakes to be made, but at the end of the day, as long as you're in something, invested in something, invested in a trade that's indicating signs of an uptrend, that's ideally what I like to look for. So when asking the question, what am I expecting Crocs to do? Again, you might be asking, why am I looking at Crocs out of all companies out there? Not a lot of people talked about Crocs, but when it was trading at $8.40 at the overall lows of the pandemic, and then it hit highs of 183, look at that. Look at the number right here. I'm not talking about 100%. I'm not talking about 1,000%. I'm talking about 2,000% is the return that Crocs saw in a total of about a year and a half, almost two years. Insane. So yeah, Crocs might not be a stock for you, but let me just then use it as an example. Uh, especially if you're part of Learn, Plan, Profit, I like to break it down in the ticker call-out format to kind of like really break down my trade plan. I love the potential that Crocs has if it begins to trade above VMA. But guess what? I don't need to rush into it. So this is why we always talk about taking a light position, less than 10%. When you take your initial position size, just have some skin in the game to really, you know, not get overly excited if things don't go according to plan right away. How many of you guys make that mistake from time to time? Trust me, I'm the same way. But then once we begin to make these higher highs and higher lows, again, when do I intend to average up? Around 150. But if you look at 150, 150 isn't, you know, at the lowest of the EMA. It's if anything, I give it time for it to really indicate signs of reversal. Why would I do that? Well, if you actually do the math from where we're at right now to previous highs for Crocs, that's 36%. 
I know I have a lot of margin to work with. I don't need to have a perfect entry. I know I'm not a perfect trader. I know I will make mistakes. But the best thing I can do is to make sure that whenever it is that I choose to take a trade, that I'm, you know, effective, that I'm rational, that I'm not irrational, that I'm not emotional, right? And that tends to happen sometimes when you buy too early. And again, that's just my simple tip. I thought I would talk about Crocs. It's getting really close to to the EMA line. I'm watching it to to potentially buy as a swing trade, but we definitely don't have confirmation just yet. I'm very excited to follow up with it, but not only did I want to talk about Crocs, I wanted to talk about a true example of what my ideal swing trade setup looks like, and I think Kroger is an amazing example of that. Let me know if you guys like this video. I would love to highlight some top swing trades to come in the near future. As long as you drop a thumbs up and as long as you comment down below what you guys would like to see next, I would love to continue these videos to continue to come. So again, if you're part of our Learn Plan Prof group, make sure you set your alarms for market open for our live trading session. And if you're not yet part of our Learn Plan Prof group, but you're interested and joining our exclusive swing trade challenge for an inside look on my swing trades for 2022. Click the first link in the description and I will see you at market open for our exclusive live daily trading session. I really do appreciate you guys' time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.